there we go, that's about as good a visual as you're going to get on binocular vision when it comes to a leopard, so let's shadow just watching us and at the moment there's a few wildebeest that are just further down that she's been paying attention to so just now i was saying that she spotted something and it was a herd of wildebeest that was walking in the background they've subsequently actually moved off as a vehicle went past and she's still just looking around but still no sign of her calling at all for her cubs or or for her cubs should i say um she's still just sitting on the mound watching around and just taking in what's moving in this area i would imagine that there is something else that she's seen now i'm just trying to look in the distance to see if i can't see anything because she's now fixated in a different area that's not those wildebeest maybe there was some kudu i saw kudu earlier in that direction as well as a steenbok so i wonder if she hasn't spotted one of those but doesn't she look beautiful up on that mound Now, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but my earpiece doesn't seem to be wanting to stay together. And so I believe a lot of you are loving this, which is what I got from Chantel. Is I hope that's what I got from Chantel, because it seems to have just... My earpiece keeps coming apart. It's got two little sections to it that keep kind of disjoining, which I've now hopefully sorted out once and for all and I believe a lot of you are enjoying her up on the mound and that she looks beautiful up there it is very pretty when she sits like that with her head up and we can actually see her it's much better than what we had just now with just the little tail not that you don't have a good looking tail though it's just your face is prettier as you can see now this is a very interesting part is Tara's been talking a lot about leopards but we when we think about aging leopards and how we age a leopard if you had to show a photo of that to somebody I guarantee you that they will tell you that this is a young female and the reason why is because a lot of people will try aged leopards using their nose and so they check the nose and they think a pink nose means that this animal is young which we know in this case is untrue so Shadow is a older female I mean she's now over 10 years old and her nose is still completely pink but if you look at her ears now in relation to her nose you see lots of little nicks and screws and cuts out of there there's a few bits of termite damage I mean not termites tick damage I don't know why I said termites maybe because she's sitting on a termite from mine, but there's a bit of tick damage there so that just shows you that she's a little bit on the older side so it's not always the nose that you can use when it comes to aging of a, of a cat so you need to use a number of different factors it is a little bit unusual that she does have still such a very pink nose I saw it also with Quatile. she used to have a fairly pink nose in her older years as well so it's not always that uncommon for cats to have it look at how her pupils are starting to get bigger and bigger as the sun's going down those pupils are dilating more and more to allow more light into the eye so she can see better so Riti, you're asking why leopards enjoy being on top of mounds. Well, there's two reasons, Riti. One is a safety aspect. Being up there, she can see if there's any other potential danger items coming anywhere near her. So she can be able to see if, let's say, lions or hyenas or other leopards made their approach. And up there, her scent is not carrying around nearly as much. And so a lot of animals might miss her up there. The second reason is it's a great vantage point when looking for prey items. At this stage, she's starting to get into that dust period, which is a highly active period for leopard. Leopard tend to move around a lot just after sunset. Um, and so you'll find this is a, an in time of day when they actually do do a lot of hunting. And so from up there, she's able to spot prey items quite effectively and work out where she needs to position herself in order to be more successful when it comes to hunting. So that's why they favor mound so much, is it's twofold. And sometimes you'll find even in the summer months, it's just to get a bit of a breeze up there as well to stay a little bit cooler. But look at that, isn't that spectacular? The colors in the background, leopard on top, it's about as good as it gets. So Michelle, you say she's so dainty looking. Well, it's a trait of Karula's female offspring. All of the females that I've seen have the same dainty appearance. So Tandi, Shadow, Shivinzi, and Shongile all do look the same. They have this kind of small dainty appearance and they all look very cute actually. And I've always said that Tandi is probably one of the best looking leopards, female leopards, particularly when she was younger. She had a very cute face. And Shivinzi was also a cute leopard. I always wonder where the Shivinzi ended up. I would love to know 
fortunately she seemed to just disappear up into the Manuleti and no one's really heard much about her since she, her disappearance but Shongila as well. Shongila I find looks more like her mom than any of the others. She looks just like Karula and especially in certain poses. And it'll be interesting as Shongila grows up if she's going to look start to take on those same features that Karula did when she was an adult. It'll be very cool to see. But we were talking about it last night Tara and myself and how these leopards from Karula's bloodline all look so similar they they have that same genetic look to them and then if you go on to the other side towards Salahesh and all of them very different look that they've got right now Shadow is watching a truck coming past and she's paying attention to that and we're going to carry on with her and hope that she finds something that she can potentially start stalking so while we do that let's go back to Tara who's now swapped her spotted coat chat for a more scaly slithery skin to talk about.